good morning students we are going to have the class 10th physics class now and we are going to take up the topic electricity actually in our class 10th we will have three chapters electricity sources of energy and light but we are going to start from the first topic that is electricity and the first thing which comes in our mind is what do we mean by this the word electricity so let me define the word electric current it can be defined as the flow of electric charge from a body to another body that means if a charge is flowing from a body to another through a conductor then that will be known as electric current here charge means the negative charge whenever the charge which is negative flows in a body we will say that electric is flowing to the body so in other words we can also define current as the quantity of electric charge flowing through a conductor in one second that means charges which are flowing in one second is also known as current so we have got two definitions of current now the from the basis of the second definition we can get the formula of current just look at here i equal to q by t where i represent current q represent charge and t represent the time it means that if we are saying that electric charge is flowing through a conductor in one second then that will be defined as current and the first formula for getting current is q by t now comes what is the nature of the current it's a very unique topic now electric current is neither a scalar nor a vector quantity now normally we are having in physics two types of quantities scalar or vector but this is a very unique topic it is neither a scalar nor a vector electric current in a wire has both magnitude and direction but means it should be a vector but look but there is no meaning of triangle rule and due to this it does not come in the vector category means we can say in a conductor the current is flowing it has got a direction it has got a magnitude so it should be a vector but what is the limitation since it is not going to follow the triangle rule it's a very important thing which is not in our syllabus we will study in higher classes just for your knowledge that since the current does not follow the triangle rule it cannot be considered as vector also so a very unique thing we are going to study now means a physical quantity which is neither scalar nor vector now comes what is the unit of the current means what is the way how we are going to measure the current so we have the thing here the si unit of current is ampere and it is denoted by capital a that means ampere capital is denoted by the capital a and how we have got this unit look at that thing here it is coulomb per second 
that means when the charge is calculated in coulombs time in seconds then we are going to get the unit of current as ampere so on the basis of this we can define the ampere as when one coulomb of charge flows through a conductor in one second then the current passing through the conductor is 1 ampere this is the definition of the word 1 ampere so the ampere has been obtained by coulomb per second please remember that timing should be always in seconds you cannot use minutes you cannot use hour then comes the next topic electric potential at a point it means that the definition is it is the amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to the given point that means when we are doing some work in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to that point then that will be considered as the potential of that point and we can denote it by capital V clear one more information is there that the potential at a point is a scalar quantity so we can say the potential of a charged body determines the direction of flow of charge when it is brought it contact with another body in other words i can say that it is the potential which is going to determine that whether the charge will be flowing from a body a to body b or to body b to body a so the potential of a charged body determines the flow of charge when it is in contact with another body the next topic the unit of potential here we can see if w is the amount of work done in bringing a charge q from infinity to a point then the electric potential v is given by the formula and the formula is here v is equal to w by q where w is the work done and q is the charge and the si unit of electrical potential how can we get it here is the formula here is the technique it is 1 joule by 1 coulomb that means the work should be expressed in joule the charge should be expressed in coulomb only then we can express the potential in volt so we can now define one volt as if one joule of work is done in bringing one coulomb of positive charge from infinity to a point in an electric field the potential at that point is 1 volt that means if you are doing 1 joule one joule work in bringing a charge of 1 coulomb then only we can say the potential at that point is 1 volt so if you want to define 1 volt you have to use 1 joule of work done and 1 coulomb of positive charge and this is the way we can define 1 volt so that's all for today we'll continue the topic in the next class thank you